welcome to Hunt Day at the Barrel House. Joseph Magnus found that at the store that we are about to review and uh, show you some stuff. This one has a display and I've never seen it anywhere else. We're gonna do a cork pop on this soon. Uh, enjoy the video of hunting for whiskey at the Barrel House. Cheers, everybody. Hey, we're in a section we're just gonna run along here. It's a liquor store I've been in the past. There is a hunt video of this, but I just swung through here. I don't come down here anymore and saw this just on the shelf. So I will be grabbing a Knob Creek 12. Then also on the shelf right next to it, which you never see anywhere about in this area, Colorado, is Jim Beam Single Barrel. If you can find that, grab it. So we will pan out. I might as well show you this right now. You got just your Jack and Jim along here. We'll do the top shelf. Um, there's your basic triple mashes, single barrel rye. There's the single barrel barrel proof. Look for a video coming on that. Just some of the Woodfords. Elijah Craig at the end. So nothing really other than that. That one's pretty good and the 12. So let's move on to another spot. Okay, here's another wall. We got the bullets. There's uh, Widow Jane. Your uh, Thomas Moore's. Went on the old Skelt a little bit. There's a few of the Wyoming's. The single barrel's 90. I haven't tried those for that price. Um, I'm not gonna drop towards the bottom. We got Traverse City. Um, here's your Russells, just the basic Russells. No Hill, Roan Creek. Nothing crazy there. You got your rabbit holes. Redwood Empires, so Mictors, but nothing crazy I'm looking for in the Mictors. So the Jefferson, there's the Garrison. Um, somebody was just talking to me. There's your four roses. Uh, the, you know, of course, the single barrel and the small batch. Um, somebody was just telling me, there's your Green Rivers. Um, I haven't tried the bourbon yet. The Weeded is good. And this Rebecca Creek, somebody's telling me for a Texas one straight bourbon 10 year. Um, I'm going to try it today. If I get a sample of it, leave a uh, comment below, please. If you've tried the Rebecca Creek, I have not. Old granddad, that's not the bottle and bond. So we'll spin back up here. Allegiant is good. Um, we did that one. Let's go back up here. Clyde Mays. Once again, you've seen my videos, really like Clyde Mays. $60, that's about average price. My buddy just found a bottle in Wisconsin for 40, so that's pretty crazy. Bardstown Fusion Series, I'll be doing a, a review on that really soon. Go down to um, Bladenbow, wherever you find Bladenbow, grab Bladenbow. To me, it's a poor man's Blanton's and it's really close, I really enjoy it. The Blue Notes are good, I've done the Crossroads. So, um, yeah, that's it there. The boondocks I don't know a whole lot about. Uh, this Broken Bark, California, if anybody knows anything about that, let me know. I haven't never heard of that one. Um, there we go. I'll do some of the Colorado whiskeys real quick. Here's your Breckenridge. There's your Tin Cups. There's your Tin Cup 14. Um, I like the Tin Cup 14. I haven't tried the 10. I went and just spent the money and got the 14. Um, 291, I don't know a lot about. And then, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot else over here I was gonna show. The Hogback, don't know much about. Woody Creek, The Laws is real popular here. Um, I haven't tried the Weeded Bonded, that might, that might be a good one to try, but it's just so expensive. So, and then of course, your Old Elks. Old Elk is in, uh, Fort Collins, Northern Colorado, and um, right near where I'm at. And there's some of your old elks, mythologies, and um, move down to the ryes real quick. There's your Angel's Envy Rye. Clyde Mays Single Barrel Rye is really good. Once again, I like the Clyde Mays. So the pin hooks, I've got the pin hooks. Vertical Series 7 is really good. I like those, and the inexpensive ones are all good, just basic bourbons, not bad. Whistle Pig Summer Stock, the Rye Threes, Wilderness Trail I do like. Piggyback Six Year is, I love the Piggyback Six Year Whistle Pig. Uh, really, really good. And uh, Sectro Rye, I've never heard of that one. There's the Sagamore, I know a lot of people like the Sagamore. Um, 
rabbit hole. Love the rabbit holes. Here's your Oak and Eden. I have not tried that one. I do like a few of the Oak and Edens. And then... Um, I haven't had any of the Traverse City. I had one early on, but I haven't liked the Barrel Proof I heard good things about. Send a comment if you do like the Traverse City Barrel Proof. I would consider trying that. And then, of course, your Stellums. I really like the Stellums. Those go along with the barrel. So let's go over and look at their single barrel section in a few more spots and we'll get out of here. This is their single barrel section. A lot of their single barrel select picks. I'm not seeing anything real crazy that I'm interested in. Um, I, got a, I got a single barrel Garrison Brothers specialty for 170. No way. And there's some Sagamore Jeffersons. Um, I got one of these. This is real popular everywhere. The 477 distilling out of Greeley is really, uh, that cast strength is really good and um, making a big push. Everybody's grabbing it. Here's the Knob Creek Select Rye, the Heaven's Doors. Um, fireside, there's some more laws. This law single barrel, barrel select. I have the Yellowstone. I have not tried yet, but I have it. Here's a, I don't know, the Balconies I've heard of in Texas. Let me know on that one too. Not familiar other than Garrison Brothers with, I haven't tried any other Texas, so let me know what you guys think of the Texas whiskeys. Here's a Dave Co. Select, a couple different uh, ones there. And um, some Oak and Eaton, the Clyde Maze I've picked up from here. And that's terrible filming, so we'll edit that out. Stuff here. You've got the High West, some Woodenville, the Western Reserve. I don't know much about that's a 12 year. Let me know if anybody knows anything about that. We'll come over here. We've got the Oak and Edens piggyback, Old Red Line Ride 2. You see up there a lot of stuff along here. Rosenville, um, single malt scotch whiskeys. I don't know much about. Knob Creeks. Now this is the one, the Balconies again. Uh, it's not much off. I don't know much about it, how it is. Let me know. I want to hear about Balconies. I don't know anything about it. There's the Laws. Okay, now we're going to go in this nice case real quick. We've seen the case. There's some stuff up top. Nothing really. I don't know about that one. Teeling 18. It's a big Henry Garrison Brothers. We're down. All kind of um, French range and nothing I'm seeing real crazy. Picked up a Joseph, Joseph Magnus a while back. I haven't tried it yet, but that's a really good price. So let me know if anybody likes the regular old Joseph Magnus, not the cigar blend. This is their redone area of just. I'm gonna go shelf by shelf. This is all their barrel. And this one at the end, I did another hunt. I don't know anything about this Wolves. Somebody let me know about this Wolves. $131. Um, all the barrels are between, all the barrel bourbons are between 80 and 100. And you go down here to Blue Run. Sorry, there's a, there's a Henry McKenna 10 year. I just picked up another bottle, $65. All the new riffs, I love the new riffs. Especially that one. Yes, they don't have the Balboa, which I really like. There's the Templeton Rye, uh, 10 year, St. Thomas. Here's the Middle West Spirits. Jeez, sorry about that. St. Thomas, Middle West Spirits. The Smoke Wagons, a couple of those. There's a few more down here. Forrester, 10 and 20, Penelope. Here's some really small batch. Okay, they got the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. That's awesome. Heaven Hill, the Barrel Proof. Um, Larceny, that's the C922. All the Horse Soldiers. The silver one I heard is the best. There's some pin hook. I told you I got the Vertical 7. That's just straight 7. And then the Hidden Barns, which are Zach, Jackie's I can. And um, yeah, that Barrel Proof is a, a must if you need one. I would grab one. The toasted is awesome. That's hard to find, and so that was cool. Nice pull. So I got my Elijah Craig 12 year here, and uh, I mean my uh, sorry 
Knob Creek 12 year, and there's an Elijah Craig toasted in a barrel I might consider. And the Heaven Hill is always a must, uh, around $50 a bottle. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video, surfing through a wave of whiskey. There was some fun stuff. Got a couple cool picks. You don't always find um, you know, everything every time, but that's a great liquor store to go to. So look for future hunt videos and hunt day videos, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Put one in a bottle, or grab a bottle, put it on a shelf, put it in a glass, and cheers, everybody.